The easy way to six pack abs is by focusing on things which don't require a lot of time and discipline, but still give us the majority of the results. And my goal with this video is to talk about exactly those things. Now, for those who have already watched a few videos of mine, know that I have a minimalistic approach to fitness and building muscle. And I have achieved my body by following this principle. I'm actually able to have six pack abs by doing less than a third of what most people had to do to achieve their abs and make them visible. That's why if your goal is also to look great without a shirt on and have six pack abs without having to sacrifice your life then this video is perfect for you and I really recommend you to watch it till the end because I will give you a secret tip at the end of this video. Now right away getting into it. This video will mainly be about two things. Firstly it's our body fat percentage and secondly our training. Because if we want to have visible and good looking abs we firstly need to have a low enough body fat percentage to actually reveal our abs and then secondly we also need some sort of a training because if we develop our abs even more they will look even better. Of course everybody has abs and we don't actually need to train them but doing a little bit of work and doing a few extra exercises will help you to really get those movie star looking abs that you probably want to have if you clicked on this video. But now actually starting with our diet first because we can do all the training in the world but if our diet is off we won't be able to have the results that we want to have. Now for our diet I've tried to simplify it as much as possible because if you can simplify something it will be easier to stick to and this is crucial if you want to look good and have abs for a long time. Sadly for the very few people who actually get abs they lose them after a few weeks because they can't keep up with their routine. It's just too difficult. That's why I've tried to simplify it as much as possible for me and this will also probably be helpful for you. Now for myself I've created the rule that I can't eat any grains and starches and then I have to get most of my carbs from fruits and vegetables. Now on one side this might sound restrictive but I can tell you guys many people out there are actually thinking we need to cut out carbohydrates completely to be able to lose body fat and get to a low body fat percentage and for me this actually wasn't the case and it was actually making my diet and lifestyle way harder and this wasn't something that I've wanted. I'm someone who loves carbs. I love how they make me feel, they fuel my workouts and I could never live without them. But still I had to create some boundaries because if I'm eating pasta, cereal, bread and all of those things then I won't be able to stop eating them because they make me crave even more food. That's why I've switched over to more filling carbohydrates that I still can eat, enjoy, are very delicious but won't make me crave more food. That's why replacing all of the grains and starches with healthy vegetables and fruits was a great swap for me, which didn't even make me feel restricted but helped me loads with losing body fat and getting leaner. Then the second rule I have set up for myself is that I'm avoiding fatty protein sources. The thing is I need to get a lot of protein in. My goal is about 200 grams of protein a day but if I'm eating fatty protein sources then it's very likely that I'm going overboard with my calories and that my body fat percentage will be too high and that I won't have visible abs. That's why I focused on the really lean protein sources like for example chicken breast, shrimps, white fish and all of those good things. On the other hand back in the days when I was eating Eating, for example some chicken tights, some steak, pork or fatty beef then I struggled a lot with cutting down and I was far away from having visible abs. Alright so now these are the two rules I have set up for myself to be able to actually lose body fat over the time. Still I had to find a way how I can actually measure and track my progress because there were times where I wasn't tracking calories and I think many of you guys watching this video you also don't want to track calories to be able to lose body fat and this definitely wouldn't be the easy way to getting six pack abs. That's why the only thing I 
I recommend you to do, which helped me to actually stay on track, is weighting myself every morning. Then depending on whether my weight went up or down, I had to change my diet a bit. But on average, my weight was going down because I was avoiding traditional carb sources and I was avoiding all of those fats which would have made me gain weight. That's why this is a very easy and great way to track your progress and see if you're going into the right direction. So as long as your weight is going down, you're doing the right thing. Otherwise, whenever my weight went a bit up, I just reduced a little bit of the food and then the day after the weight went down again. This was really an easy way to know if I'm doing the right things and then depending on the results of the scale adjusting it. And this is how we will be able to very easily lose body fat and actually get lean enough to reveal our abs. And now I want to move on to the actual training where we build our abs and make them look even better. Here again, of course, the minimalistic approach is the best in my opinion. There are lots of people out there dedicating a whole workout to their abs. And this is definitely too much. It doesn't even give you better results than doing less. Because most of the guys doing workouts like this, they just don't even feel their abs the right way. They're just doing a bunch of chunk volume and I'm someone who is promoting workouts which are very short but effective and to be able to do this we just really have to focus on the mind muscle connection then we can get the most out of the least work and this is really the easy way to six pack abs. Now more specifically I've trained my abs twice a week so at the end of two workouts every week I've did about three to four sets for my abs. This didn't take me longer than five minutes and I didn't go to the gym just to do abs. I've combined it with the other workout. For example, after I finished my leg workout, I just did three to four sets of leg raises. This really helped me to get the biggest bang for my buck with very little work and very little time investment. And this is exactly what I would recommend you to do as well. Now, I'm someone who is an advocate of leg raises because most people struggle a lot with building up those lower abs. And with leg raises, we mainly target them. So if you're maybe also struggling with getting your lower abs more visible, then leg raises are a great option. Otherwise, you can also try different ab exercises. It doesn't matter that much which one you're doing. I would even recommend you to have some fun with it. So change it up every now and then because this is actually the key for long-term results. You should enjoy your workouts. You should be looking forward to training your abs once or twice a week because then you'll be doing it over and over again and will keep the results that you've achieved. This is a major mistake many people make. They follow a routine which isn't sustainable for them and then once they achieve the results they wanted to achieve, they just give it up because it consumes too much time and energy from them. That's why we don't even want to start with a routine which isn't sustainable for us. We should right away start with something that we enjoy and know we could be doing it for the rest of our lives life because then we can be the guy who is walking around with ripped six-pack abs at 60 years old and I think this is a pretty big flex. Perfect and that's it. This is all you need to know about your training and the diet changes which will help you to get six-pack abs the easy way. Now to make it even easier for you, you can access to my free diet plan which helped me to achieve the ripped abs that I have right now. You can access to it for free. The link is down in the description. The great thing about this diet plan is that it actually also has a healthy cheat meal in it. It's a high protein, low calorie ice cream. So I was able to eat ice cream every day on the journey to getting six pack abs. And I keep eating this ice cream to this day. This just makes my diet so enjoyable and I don't even crave any other food. So it doesn't even feel like for me like I'm on a diet. And this is how a diet should be. So if you're interested in it, then download it. Then if you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, then I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe. Then I'm able to make more videos like this. Now, thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one.